Suppose we want to approximate the natural log of n factorial. Because factorial we usually think of as discrete, we can't really do a lot of calculus on it. But here's a way to get an approximation. n factorial is 1 times 2 times 3 up to n. Natural log of n factorial is the natural log of that product. By the laws of logarithms, we can split that up into natural log 1 plus natural log 2 plus natural log 3 up to natural log n. Now if we take a graph of natural log x, the heights here are natural log 1, natural log 2, natural log 3, etc. And if we make rectangles of width 1 and height natural log whatever, then we will get a box with area equal to natural log of whatever. So these areas will add up to this sum. And the boxes are an overestimate. So this is greater than the integral from 1 to n, natural log x dx. We can also work out an overestimate of natural log of n factorial. If we take all the boxes and shift them one to the right, so that we have it like this, and like this, and so forth, then all the area is underneath the curve instead of above it, but we have to go out to n plus 1 in order to get the whole deal, which means the integral of natural log x dx from 1 to n plus the area of this rectangle, which is natural log of n, is an overestimate of natural log n factorial. We can integrate the natural log of x dx from a to b using integration by parts. And our final answer is b natural log b minus a natural log a minus b plus a. So if we were to use that to integrate 1 to n natural log x dx, we get n natural log n minus 0 minus n plus 1. So that's the exact answer for the integral, which means the natural log of n factorial is in between this quantity and this one. So n ln n minus n plus 1 is less than natural log of n factorial, which is less than n ln n minus n plus 1 plus ln n. So those are bounds on the natural log of n factorial. Finally, I'd like to point out Sterling's approximation for n factorial. This is a well-known formula. If you take the natural log of both sides of this, you get the natural log of n factorial equals this expression, and using the laws of logarithms, we split it up more. The natural log of square root of 2 pi is approximately 1, and we have the n log n minus n plus 1, roughly, plus 1 half ln n. The only difference between the underestimate and the overestimate here was a natural log n. So if you go exactly halfway in the middle, you're extremely close to a good approximation.